When you sell a tonne of carbon dioxide removals in native forest, you're making a commitment for a century. Carbon removals have created an extra source of income for us, and in farming, margins are pretty lean. And what it's actually doing, it's allowing us to plant more trees, and fence more trees, and more pest control. So it's a great little exponential strategy that we've got underway. Carbon markets are the combination of someone who wants to pay to help create a better outcome and someone who has the ability to create a better outcome and they're constrained by finances. A perfect market. The only way you can do that in a reliable way is by having a comprehensive monitoring framework in place that quantifies every tonne of carbon that's been tied up in a tree and that you're going to keep checking that it's there every year for the next hundred years, combining artificial intelligence and satellite monitoring. It's essentially a massive new accounting exercise with a product that you can't really see. The support that we provide to farmers in engaging with carbon markets is really in three different areas. The New Zealand Emissions Trading Scheme, voluntary carbon markets, and then in some cases a net zero product claim. On the typical farm, like Lake Howia Station, we track more than a million individual data points for their carbon stock. The station here is largely Merino and Angus cattle. There's some lower country along the lakefront here, a little bit of flat land with some irrigation on it. And then the bulk of the station is actually rising up over these mountains here, up and over the back, in typical kind of central Otago tussock country. Everybody involved there was very clear on what they wanted to achieve. We added quantification and the traceability of the whole framework. Lake Howia Station aren't anywhere near maximising the amount of carbon they could sequester, but the only way you're ever going to get an income that allows them to do that is if you make it available to other people in the broader market. All birds, for example, can say, love it that you gave us a net zero wall. It's fantastic. We've also got some other emissions associated with the production of the shoot, and we'd like to neutralise those as well. Can you help? quite overwhelming right at the start, you know, carbon sounds complicated. Carbon crop do all the hard stuff. We wrap all the complexity up and put a nice interface on it that just tells you what you need to know and allows you to make well-informed decisions about what's right for you and your property. Even my technical skills allowed me to identify our farm and then you'll get a whole bunch of information about what's going on. There could be a south-facing gully out the back that's got some scrub growing on it which you never even thought was of value. Carbon crop helped show us a pathway to quite strong financial returns, earning income for the station for many years to come. Bring the integrity, bring the transparency, enable the claims, get the money flowing, get the trees growing.